So you're thinking about moving to Toronto? In today's video, we're gonna be doing a map tour of the Cabbage Town neighborhood. Plus, you're gonna definitely wanna stay until the end because I'm gonna be sharing with you a market report for this area. So let's get started. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything about living and moving to Toronto, then you're definitely going to want to hit that subscribe button and tap that bell notification so that you could be in the know when it comes to everything Toronto. My name is Amanda Azarito and we get calls and emails daily from people just like you who are looking to make that move to Toronto and we absolutely love it. So whether you are looking to move in 9 days or 90 days, then you're definitely going to want to click that link down below in the description box box, fill out our call form so that we can give you a call and we can help you make that smooth move to Toronto. So we're on Google Maps and as you can see this red line is the border of Cabbage Town and this is a downtown core neighborhood so there is a lot within the neighborhood plus all around. So before we actually zoom in I want to look around so that you guys can kind of see what's happening around this neighborhood as well. First important thing to notice here is that there is a hospital really close by, so that's very good. And you are close to the main street that has a lot of hospitals anyways. Um, again, you're downtown, so some of the best hospitals in the whole entire city is in the downtown area. You can see that there are lots of parks even around, right? There are lots of parks in the neighborhood of Cabbage Town, but there is also a lot of parks even just outside of it. So there is a lot of greenery, which is really nice to have that mix of both greenery and the city. There are a lot of universities nearby, right? Whether that is Ryerson or even UFT, as you can see right here. So there's different UFT campuses. This is the popular one, and you're not far away at all. So if you are a student or if you have kids who are planning to go to university soon, then you do have a lot of options around in the downtown area. Is access to the highway nearby in this neighborhood, which is amazing. As you can see here on the east side, you have the Don Valley Parkway Highway that's running up and down. And then if you actually look down, you also have another highway down here, which is the Gardener. I just zoomed in. We're going to start at the north of this neighborhood and work our way down. Um, so first thing you're going to notice at the very top is the park. So there are a few parks that are connected here at the north part of Cabbage Town, as well as on the east side as well, as you can see over here, which has the Riverdale Farm and also the Riverdale Park. Now, there is two parts of the park, Riverdale Park West, right, which is what's in the actual neighborhood. And then on the other side of the highway, there is Riverdale Park East, okay, which is just outside, but it's really all, you know, this park is right in the middle of the border. Um, so in the east side, you're going to get an amazing view of the city skyline. So it's very popular to come over here to this side on Broadway Avenue to just get some like nice photo ops and just to see the view. It's beautiful. Um, so that's one thing to keep in mind. But this whole entire park is a lot of fun. There's so much to do, picnics, tra trails. Um, there's so much to do in these parks, sports all kinds of things. It's what the best part of this side on the west side is going to be the farm. So that is something that is very different and unique is that there is a farm in the middle of the city. So that's really cool. Um, if you do want to see the actual farm, I did do a video of the tour of the neighborhood where I actually show you guys the farm. So you guys go check that out. As we move to the center of this neighborhood, one street that's really important is going to be Parliament Street, which is kind of going down here the middle. Now, Parliament, as you guys see, is a lot of commercial buildings. That's because there are lots of shops, there is lots of restaurants, lots of stores, groceries, all kinds of things that everyone needs for entertainment and then just necessities like I said groceries and things of that nature and gas station right here you can see and so much more 
In terms of schools in this neighborhood in particular, there are elementary schools, okay? So that's what you're gonna find in the neighborhood. As you can see, there's two right here, right in the middle, which are very popular ones. You're gonna get a mix between public schools and there is one Catholic school. So there are options for you. Um, now, in terms of high schools, you will have to leave the neighborhood and same thing with colleges and universities. But like I mentioned earlier in this video, UFT is super close, which is really nice. Two other main streets that I want to point out here is going to be Sherborne, and then you have Gerard, which is just going across. These are two major streets, and so there is a lot going on on these streets as well. You're going to find lots of entertainment, restaurants, shops, all that good stuff. And then as you guys can see on this side, we have some more parks, bigger and small parks. There's even a garden over here on this end and a health center right over there. And then as you move south of the neighborhood, it really does just go down the bottom towards the last street is Shutter Street. Okay, so you do go pretty south when it comes to the south part of this neighborhood. And if you zoom into the south part, we're going to notice here in the corner where you can see that there is a farmer's market. And then of course, a long parliament, like I mentioned, so many different areas, whether it's restaurants, bars, shops, services, everything is along parliament, all the way from the top of the whole neighborhood to the bottom of the neighborhood. It's busy all the way through. So that's really nice. You have so many options in this neighborhood. I'm gonna stop here and now let's go do the market report for this area. For the market report, the area that it picked up, which is what shows up on MLS, is actually called Cabbage Town slash South St. James Town, right? So these are two neighborhoods that they just group together. Um, and so that's what we're going to be showing you guys today. So just keep that in mind. This is Cabbage Town, but it also is St. James Town South as well. Okay. So those are the numbers that are together. So new to market is 27 homes, which is actually down compared to the last 30 days. Off the market is 844 homes which is up, and then days on market is 38 days, which is up compared to the last 30 days. So what that means, of course, is that on average right now in this neighborhood, 38 days on market is normal. So it takes about 38 days to sell a home. And so that's what the average is going right now. If you scroll down, they're gonna show us some recent listings. So you can see there's different variety here, right? You're gonna get apartments, you're gonna get condo options, houses, um, the most expensive listing right now is at five, just over five million, and that is a house. This one actually has multiple units, so it's a really good investment property. Um, so just keep that in mind. This is an investment property with units, but of course you can change that if you like. And then down here is just some more popular listings, as you can see other options, right? So not only do you have residential homes, but you're also gonna get apartment options, condo options, uh, things of that nature. We hope you enjoyed today's map tour video of Cabbage Town. If you did, give this video a like and write a comment down below. Let us know what your favorite part of Cabbage Town is. And if you're thinking about making that move to Toronto, then you're definitely gonna wanna click that link in the description box down below. Fill out our call form so that we can give you a call and help you make that smooth move to Toronto. If you're wanting to look at some more neighborhood videos, then you're definitely going to want to watch this one next. Until next time, see you around the city and God bless.